Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's see some alkane properties. We'll talk about the physical states, whether it's a liquid, solid or gas. We'll talk about the boiling point. We'll talk about the melting points. We'll also talk about the solubility of alkanes. We'll also talk about density of the alkanes. Let's start with the first one that is my physical state, right? So alkanes, if you see, are almost non-polar. Why? You see, because they are all single bonds actually. If you see, alkanes, any other alkanes, all single bonds. Right? So all are sp3 hybridized. There is not much electron interaction between two carbon. They are known non-polars. Right? Also carbon hydrogen, the electron negative difference is not that much. So it's all non-polar. Right? They have very weak van der Waals force. And due to this weak van der Waals force, the first four are gas. C1 to C4. That is methane, ethane, propane, butane. They are gas. Then from pentane to C17, they are liquids. And 18 plus are solids and this is what at I'm talking about at temperature 298 Kelvin. Right? STP my C1 to C4 are gas, C4, C5 to C17 is liquid and then you have all solid. Correct? This is my C1 to C4, this is C5 to C17 and this is C18 plus. Correct. And they are all colorless orthologs. They don't have any smell. For example, aromatic compounds they have particular smell, but these guys they don't have any color, they don't have any smell. We'll talk about the boiling point of the alkanes now. So if you see a trend here, the moment you increase the molecular mass, the boiling point is increasing, right? Correct. So if you see there's a steady increase with increase in molecular mass. Why? Because the boiling point, as I told, depends on the water one force. The more is the molar mass, the more is the pore area, and the more is the boiling point. Typically, every CH2 addition, every the next component, you see there's a difference of almost 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Or degree Kelvin. That is the difference action. Correct. So if you see from propane to butane, if you go, there's an increase. Now there is a catch. These two are butanes. These two are all pentane. Three are all pentane. Similarly, if you talk about, uh, yeah. So if you see here, other things are not given actually. But if you see these butane and methyl, uh, two methyl propane, these have same molecular mass, same molecular formula. These guys also have same molecular formula, right? They are just isomers of pentane. But there is a difference in volume. Why? Because the more branched the structure is, the more this is more branched actually. This is all the more branch. This is most branch. Right? The more branch the structure is, the lesser the more is the branching, you can say the, the, the lesser is the surface area. Correct? And the surface area is less, the less is the wonderful force. The less is the wonderful force means the less is the Right, right here. More branching implies less surface area, and this implies less surface area means less wander force, wanderer force, and this implies less boy. Correct? So more is the branching, less surface area, means less bond of force means less boiling point. This, this is my part. And that's why you see a trend here. This is 309, this is 300. Why? Because if you compare pentane and 2 methyl pentane, this has more branching, right? This becomes 300. If you compare uh, pentane and, uh, sorry, 2 methyl pent butane and 2 to dimethyl propane, 2 to dimethyl propane has all the more branching, right? So all the more branching means more spherical set, less surface area, less surface area. Less vulnerable force, less vulnerable. Correct. This is what it is mentioned. So, intermolecular vulnerable force increase with increase in molecular size, right? 
so the boiling point increases when you add a new CH2. But with the same molecular mass or molecular formula, if you have different isomers, then also you have to take, think about Van der Waals force. Because boiling point, Van der Waals force is the most critical factor. Let's talk about the melting point. The ice is melting. So let's talk about the melting. See, there is a difference in the melting point and boiling point. When we talk about boiling point, right? You have to boil it to vapors. That means you have to break the bond completely. Completely, right? But you talk about melting point, just about recrystallization, you can say. Because you are not breaking the bond completely, right? It's, it's a, if things are in crystal form and just deforming the crystals, actually, you can say. Or crystal deformation because it is still it is not in vapor stage it is just moving right from here to here so there's a deformation so here the crystal energy plays a better role correct so we talk about similarity of the shapes and all and thus if you see the melting point does not follow the same trend as we have in boiling point you see if you increase the mass Right. See if you see from if you go from ethane to propane, there is a decrease in boiling point. Why? Because it's not symmetrical, right? So it's all about in this case the crystal energy plays a critical role. So if you see, don't show the same increase. And here, if you see, intermolecular force in the crystal they depend upon the crystal lattice, and that depends on how the molecule is. How well the molecules fit in. For example, this, 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 right? So the better is the crystal, the more is the symmetry, the more is the melting point. If you see here, the alkanes with even carbon atoms are more symmetrical. So if you see all this, if you want to see the pattern, you see C1, C3, C5, C7, you go, go that way, you'll see a pattern. See, I'll put in the red. C1 is 9090, C3 is uh, what? 85. Ignore this. This is ignore this. But if you see from C3 actually, 85, 143, 222, it'll increase actually. Correct? 182. So there's a steady increase from this to this, this to this, this to this. But if you see this guy, 2,2 dimethyl propane, very high boiling point. If you see this is the structure, 2,2 dimethyl propane. And this is very, very symmetrical. Since it is symmetrical, correct, it has very high crystal energy. It's very difficult to break it. So it has very high melting point. Okay. So if you talk about this guy, 2 methyl probably not that symmetrical. So it has low boiling point, can easily break it, melting point. You compare to butane also, this guy is not that good, right? This guy is symmetrical, at least when you compare these two guys. So this guy has more boiling point, this guy has most. So this guy will have max boiling point, this guy will have average boiling point, this guy will have least boiling point, right? Sorry, melting point, correct? Why a max melting point? Because it's very uniform crystal. This is also uniform, but this is better. This should have max melting point, this should have lesser melting point. And it should have least melting point because it's not crystal. And if you see, that's how it is, right? The max melting point is two. This guy is two fifty six point two Kelvin. If you talk about this guy in uh, pentane, this guy is one forty three Kelvin. And if you talk about this guy, two methyl propane is one hundred fifty. So based on the symmetry of the uh, compound, you decide what is the Melting point. So there is a difference in melting point, boiling point, or what boiling point you separate them actually, and that's why you talk about the Van der Waal force, right? In the case of melting point, it's just, just to deform the crystals. So the crystal energy plays a vital role here. Now we'll talk about the solubility of alkanes. So the rule is pretty general: like dissolves like, polar dissolves polar, non-polar dissolves non-polar, right? And as we know, alkanes are non-polar. Why? Because we see all this. Uh, there, is, there is very less electronic difference between this carbon and this hydrogen, right? So it's almost non-polar. 
the, all these carbons are sp3 hybridized so there is no uh, question of introducing polarity based on the hybridization of carbon also so since they are non polar they are soluble in non polar solvents like ether alcohol etc and in fact they themselves are used as good solvent for other non polar organic compounds let's talk about the density if you see the density the density increase with increase in molecular mass if you see this guy density this is 0 0.62 0 0.65 0 0.68 0 0.7 0 0.7 0 0.73 0 0.74 this increases but after 0 0.8 almost 0 0.8 it stops the increase in density stops so you see the density of alkanes they increase and in increase in molecular mass but it becomes constant after 0 0.8 gram per centimeter and this is the maximum density of alkane and the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube you can say that all alkanes are lighter than water correct because the maximum density of alkane is 0.8 gram per centimeter cube and the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube so with that we can say that all the alkanes are lighter than water we'll take some numerical on this so the question is how does branching impact the boiling point so when you talk about boiling point you talk about what you talk about van der Waal force correct and for that you talk about area you are not talking about the crystals here. So if you see with branching, the same thing I'll write. With increase in branching implies decrease in area, surface area. This implies decrease in wall force. And this implies decrease in volume. Correct. So if you want, you can see the examples. This is my pentane and my boiling point is 143 Kelvin. Sorry, it is 309 Kelvin. Correct. So it is 309 Kelvin. So if we talk about this guy, 2 methyl butane isomer of this. So this guy has boiling point that we just saw 300 Kelvin. And if we talk about this guy, okay, 2 dimethyl propane, this guy has the boiling point of 282 Kelvin. Just now we saw. So if you see here, increase in branching, decrease in uh, surface area, decrease in water wall force, decrease in boiling point. Correct? So the boiling point decreased. Here, here I am increasing the branching. Increase branch. And I have decreased boiling point. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.